Hey everybody, what is up? I am your host Chris, K-R-I-S, and this is actually part two to a vlog. <laughs> the last one was the first five questions to a ten question like survey that's going around on YouTube. And uh, this is going to be part two. If you want to watch the first video, then click on the card thing that pops up around the video and go back to it. Or you can wait to the end of the video when the end card shows up and click it there. That's as far as I am going to help you. You figure out the rest of the crap yourself. I don't know what it is with YouTubers wanting their hands held throughout everything. Jesus Christ. But anyway, uh, let's continue on. This would be uh, question six, but we're going to treat it as question one. Question one. Uh, where do you see your channel in the future? <sighs> now that's an interesting question in that it's not interesting at all. It will either be more successful or it will be dead. <laughs> uh, I want to make some of this channel. That's the whole reason why I am um, uploading so often. And that is the whole reason why I made the vlog a few months ago about uh, like Patreon and stuff needing to be helpful with that. Which it has been. Thank you so much. Um... But, you know, I can't do this forever at this rate. So it'll either get bigger or it'll just disappear in in a, the, the, the form it is now. And not entirely, just the form. Like maybe instead of videos nearly every day, uh, maybe once a week or something like that. And there'll be smaller videos. But uh, like I, I wouldn't take that as a, a negative thing. Because if that does happen, like it's negative in terms of production. But... It means my life's better in some way, and it means that uh, when I do do videos, I'll be really dedicated to them. Uh, so I, I never take that as, a, a, as a, a negative overall, and I, I don't like that look. I like I like being positive if I can. I spent a lot of my teen years being a whiny little baby, so these days I try to look on the, the bright side of everything. And uh, that will lead into the second question in a second. But uh, my ultimate goal for my YouTube channel would probably be about 30,000 subscribers. And 500 views per every video, which would be a horrible rate, a subscriber to, to videos, uh, views. But, you know, I'd be happy with that. And uh, maybe vlogs would be about 2,000 uh, per video, which is which is more than enough for me. So that would be the overall. Uh, I don't think I'd be able to handle that many subscribers or more so. So I'm not really looking at that, like, giant. As long as I can get to a point where I'm, I'm happy in different aspects of YouTube. Then, uh, yeah. Um, uh, this time next year, I'd like to be reaching 6,000 subscribers, though. So, if if one year from now, I'm not nearing 6,000 subscribers, you can consider the, the next following year of 2017 a complete failure. Uh, okay, so that was the first question, which is actually really question six. But what is question seven, question two? What quote or saying do you live by? That is another very good question, as in boring. No, no, I'm kidding. Um, I don't, I don't have many quotes I live by. There's a lot of good quotes out there by many, many um, iconic, famous people for many different reasons, and fictional characters like Spider-Man's whole "With great power comes great responsibility" thing. It's a classic. It doesn't matter if a character is fictional. What matters is the fact that this is written by a human being. This was written by somebody that was able to put that uh, that insight out there to the world and inspired millions of people for generations to come. Your grandfather probably heard that, you know? Especially these days with 16-year-olds getting knocked up, which probably would have made more sense 10 years ago when the rate of pregnancy was at an all-time high. People these days have actually gotten a lot smarter with that and they're not getting knocked up at 12 anymore. Yay! <laughs> I'm a little hyper today. Um, my quotes, my favorite quotes, uh, I don't, I don't really got any, I do got, I do got one or two, uh, the philosopher Forrest Law, you know, he had a great one, be like water, uh, some, some jackass tried to rip him off, uh, back in the 70s, but no, nobody even remembers his name, uh, it was, it was basically be like water, which means adapt to your surroundings, it means, uh, mold yourself, evolve with the environment, and that can be taken, uh, and put into effect with everything in life. You got a job, you're not happy with the way things have changed, then you go with it. 
you um you, you try to force yourself through something you try to knock down a wall in front of you you might do it but you're gonna get hurt doing so and not only you could get hurt but like your friends could get affected your family could get affected either by the the actions of you or someone else because of the actions you've taken place so being like water and just adapting to the environment and molding it into your own success is very is very um smart very smart thing to do it also applies to YouTube. YouTube's rules are always changing. You know, uh, before in the past it was like longer videos were more important than shorter videos were more important. These days 10 minute videos are very important. Uh, the type of videos you make, like some people be like, hey, if you're making a Tomb Raider Let's Play, put Tomb Raider at the end of the title and the unique writing, whatever you're going to put at the beginning so it stands out amongst the other Tomb Raider Let's Play Part 1, Let's Play Part 1, blah, 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 copy and paste. But uh, I don't do that because it looks ugly. But um, yeah, it, it applies to everything. It's, it's very good. Uh, another quote I actually like is by a, a fictional character by Angel, which is a spin off of Buffy. And it is, if nothing we do matters, then all that matters is what we do. And the reason that speaks to me so much, I, I remember I heard that when I was like 12 years old and it's always stuck with me. Another fictional character. It's because... I don't believe in anything. I am I'm not like I'm not saying I'm an atheist, but I definitely don't believe in that. I need to be proven. And even if I was proven, I need to have a reason as to why that exists. Like um, I believe in the evolution, right? That's the theory, it's just a theory that we have why we exist today. But if the theory of evolution comes true, if that is indeed proven fact at some point in time and the entire world goes, okay, yeah, we're going to go with evolution as a reason we all, we all exist, then that means we exist for nothing. Human life, all life has no importance whatsoever. Now, if God exists, if God comes down and he's like, hey man, I exist, let me prove it to you. Pop, there's another planet right there and it has a population. Then pop, oh, I just destroyed them all. Oops. You know, if he came down and he was like, yeah, I exist, people would be like, yeah, see, see, I told you, he, he created us. I'd be like, why? And if he said, well, you're very important for these reasons, I'd be like, so what? That, that doesn't make us important because what makes you important, God? Who the hell are you? What makes you this grand being that needs, that needs to validate my existence? Because every time I talk about that, every time I hear about that, there's a scene from a movie that always pops into my head, the Lego movie with Will Ferrell. You have this whole society, this, this whole universe, and there's all these like Lego civilians, sentient beings walking around. And then halfway through the movie, it turns out they're just in someone's garage or basement. And it's Will Ferrell, and he's just like, yeah, that's just my hobby. And then you're like, well, who the hell is Will Ferrell? He's nobody, right? So this, this society, this world's god, it's just some dad that has them in a basement. And I would be asking the question, okay, so what makes Will Ferrell? What makes God important? And then on top of that, who created this guy? Right? Like, who created this guy? And who created the guy who created that guy? And who created the guy who created blah, blah, blah? You know, it goes on and goes on. Everything has an origin. Every single thing in existence has an origin at some point. We think the universe exists because of the Big Bang. Right now, there's a theory going around that the universe exists because the Big Bang was actually the end of the last universe and we are the new birth from it and that someday we're going to explode and another universe is going to come out of us with a whole new chance of civilization. So the, the quote, uh, if nothing we do matters and all that matters what we do, speaks to me in that I don't believe in anything. I have my own beliefs on what's important to me but I don't believe they're important, it's basically just favoritism. Like, I like animals, I'm, I'm all for animal rights and stuff, and um, like, I'm not saying they're important, I'm not saying people are important, I'm just saying these are important to me. So instead of standing around just waiting to die because everything is meaningless, like, who cares if I get hit, hit, hit by a bus, if I get hit by a train, it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter, but if I'm alive, I may as well spend my meaningless existence doing things that make me happy and things that make me happy is sometimes making other people happy so if don't we do matters then all that matters is what we do so I think that's a really good quote and uh, especially when I was a teenager and I didn't have any belief system going on uh, I heard that line and I was like wow that was great and it's, it's always stuck with me so uh, uh, Forest Law and, and Angel fictional characters are very very great uh, I, I can't really think of anyone else, you know, like uh, Martin Luther King, I had a dream, he, he made that thing come true. 
to a degree you know progress is all something that's going to come along and we have to be fought for and uh yeah so that they're basically my quotes uh question three or is it question four? Oh, no 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 it's question three why did i start youtube and that's it that's a that's a very very long answer that i'm gonna shorten <sighs> The reason I started YouTube was because I was just turned 18, just got the internet for the first time in my life. A uh, little note, the very first video I ever watched on the internet was Green Day's American Idiot. Because uh, I was a big fan of them as a teenager. I was all like, yeah. Huh? But uh, I, I discovered YouTube, I was told about YouTube, ma uh, watched a couple of videos. And I just started, started an account because... I think I wanted to comment on a video or something. I can't really remember. I do remember I wanted to comment on a channel and say thanks for the work. Uh, without going into specific details, this channel was uploading Sailor Moon videos. And I liked that anime as a kid and I was surprised that, that this stuff was actually on the internet. Because before the internet, you know, you grow up watching something, especially your parents will know this. You grow up watching something and if it's not aired, you never see it again. If it's not on TV, it's dead to you. So coming on the internet and going, Oh my god, these shows and these intros to these shows and these full episodes actually still exist? That's mind blown. Especially when there were so many shows as a small kid that I had that I, I wasn't even sure were real anymore. Like, um, for a very long time, as a 4 year old, 5 year old, I thought that the Transformers 1986 film was basically something I thought up for a while because I hadn't seen it since I was four or five years old and I had these vague memories of Optimus Prime dying which scared me and like uh, Galvatron and all these things then I got the internet and I'm like I knew it I knew it existed I knew that you know and Mask from the 80s not Jim Carrey's cartoon but uh, a show actually called Mask a craft cartoon by the way god damn don't watch it and I still have other animated films and cartoons in my head there's one with a robot there is a live action show with a film with a robot I don't know what it's called I can't even give details of it but I'd love to find this someday so seeing Sailor Moon I was like I need to watch this this is gonna be great and uh, and uh, yeah, that was basically why I made my account, uh, uh, along with other specific details, which is a very fun story, but I won't get into it now, it takes too long, it'll be a whole video of itself. And um, another funny little, uh, funny little uh, situation about that, at that time I was super insecure, and I was super, um, uh, I, I, I don't know, uh, I had like zero confidence, to the point where I made my account, and I didn't use it to speak to anybody for a month. But then when I decided to speak to somebody, I was so embarrassed that they were going to see when I lost, when I started my account, which was now a month ago, that I had no comments in that span, of, uh, that span of time, that I created a new account just to talk to these people and be like, hey, hey, guess what? I, I have self-confidence. I'm social. Talk to me. You know, I made my account five minutes ago. I'm already saying hello. How cool am I? You know, <laughs> so uh, that's why I started YouTube. But why I started making YouTube videos is basically because people wanted to see my face. I had a blank profile and I, at that time, to have a profile picture, you needed to have a video uploaded onto YouTube. So I was just like, okay, here we go. I'll just make a vlog with this really bad webcam. And it always made my hair so greasy looking. I'd wash my hair, I'd take a shower, I'd, I'd get on webcam 240p. It would look like it would look like someone threw a bucket of grease on my head. It was like so bad, and I was 18 at the time, so I definitely didn't look good with the spots and whatnot. I still have some right now, um, but yeah. So I just made it. I just made a, a video to say, hey, here I am. This is what I look like to the friends that I made, and that's exactly why I made a YouTube account. <laughs> so that was a bull crap answer, and the next question is, what challenges? Have you faced as a YouTuber and how have you overcome them? Um, well, this is a boring technical answer. The The challenge I face as a person that makes videos is getting the videos watched, getting them to the top of the search and stuff. Uh, people, this is actually a secret. This is a secret. Now, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you about this. And the only reason I'm going to tell you about this is because you can't do it anymore. Video responses where you could place the video underneath the other videos 
were the best way to get views ever back then and like just a few years ago my heavy rain my resident evil videos yeah i got a couple of thousand views off those simply because i bought resident evil remake part one underneath resident evil 5's 2009 trailer that has six million views and i got like four or five thousand views off that and yeah never look back man never look back i kept that to myself like you'd be surprised at how many people didn't know about that like for every i'd say for every ten thousand people that were making youtube videos and trying to get views about about 50 people were using that technique i'd put i'd put my video underneath a resident evil part one and it would be there for like two months so i got thousands of views thousands you know there's a youtuber dsp gaming everyone craps on him everybody but he allowed people to put their videos underneath his videos as an auto it didn't need to be pre-approved or anything like that my i bought my heavy rain part one underneath his heavy rain part one got 2,000 views out of it it was it was great and then youtube took away that feature and screwed me over but uh yeah i like people like if some of you are still watching right now you'd be coming to me like chris do you have any advice for creating a YouTube channel, I'll be like, hey, yeah, man, I'll give you all this, all these tips. Here's how you write the times. Here's how you write the description. I wouldn't tell anybody about the video responses. Not a single person. I was like, because it's, it's true. At the end of the day, you're helping people out. But don't forget, you're my competition. If you do Resident Evil 0 and I do Resident Evil 0, at the end of the day, I'm going to try to outrank you in that search. And I will kick you in the balls if I see the opportunity to do so. I'd be like, hey man, hey man, man, listen. I, I know if you have a typo in your description, you might want to fix that. But that typo instead would get them from, from rank 3 to rank 6. And they won't notice it because people are lazy and they won't look that stuff up. But I'd be like... Oh damn, I went from rank 6 to rank 4. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that that's, that was a big challenge for me. Just like getting out there. Uh, I made myself look like a, a, a right prat saying that. But at the end of the day, as much as friends we are, if you make consistent content, then we are rivals on a, a in either non-friendly or friendly level. And there's a couple of YouTubers out there that are at my level that have the same videos up. And I'm like, someday I'm going to pass you out. And some of them I have passed out. So, uh, yeah. So, I'm, I'm a little sneaky, man. I'm going to stab you in the back. <laughs> okay. So, uh, la, 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 la. what are your inspirations for videos? You guys are my biggest inspiration these days. I take your requests, especially now that I have a Patreon. And literally one of the rewards for subscribing at a certain rate is you get to choose the game i play and i have to play it it's you it's it, I, you know it's like you're, you're actually you're, you're paying for it so i have to play it and uh, so that's that's like changed my channel on a big note i had a couple of games planned that i didn't i didn't do because i have it i have like a backlog now um before before that i'd listen to the comments and i still do listen to comments people people think i I read your comment and like throw it away but no if you're like hey could you play Shadows of the Damned I'll be like maybe someday six months later someone else says it could you play Shadows of the Damned I'll be like maybe someday but I remember that I remember that I heard that at least twice so as time goes on and more people are asking for these games I'm like okay I guess now that I'm finishing this walkthrough up I'll buy a new game and do that so you guys are the biggest inspiration it's the same with vlogs you want me to talk about some things uh regarding vlogs i want to do more a uh, original not original but n more uh up-to-date stuff like the nintendo switch came out i want to talk about that only if it interests me though only if it's something that i genuinely sorry that i genuinely like that i have passion for i'm not gonna be like oh look at this game fifa 2017 it's gonna be great yeah i'm not gonna talk about that <laughs> so if i like the game if i like the content if i like whatever topics on mind I will make a video about it and I want to do more up-to-date stuff so uh, my inspirations either come from you guys from actual stuff I have to do because of patreon or because of uh, brand new news that that uh, that makes me go huh I really want to talk about that uh, inspire I have a lot of inspirations I think the, the best way to get inspired into making a video is Get your favorite type of video 
uh, for me, you know, I make gaming content, so I watch Let's Plays every now and then. Like I said before, I don't watch any particular channels, but if I'm like, I need to, I need to get in a mood for something, I'll watch someone else play like, like I'll, I'll watch maybe a video and a half of somebody, another video and a half of somebody else, like of maybe horror games. I'll be like, oh yeah, now I'm in a horror mood, you know? Or I'll, um, I'll look at like maybe movies, or I'll talk to people, see what they're into. And it, it from a conversation piece, you know, from a a um, perspective of of just absorbing everybody's information, I will I will gather that, and I'll just be like, okay, so it seems everybody's talking about uh, action games right now, and I'm like, you know what? I really do like action games. What do I have that's action that Devil May Cry? Let's play some Devil May Cry. So that's how I do it. Uh, I, I think of everything as like a room like it is now and ideas are bouncing off the walls from everybody and it's important that you grab a few read them and go yeah that's a good point and then remember that and do something with it later on instead of just instead of just going yeah whatever nobody cares <laughs> uh, I kind of rambled there I don't really know what I said so if you actually know what I said and that's a that's a great, great talent you have. If you notice something today, I have not made any cuts in this video. I, um, I am at an, a, a stage 12 in my energy right now, and I cannot wait to do other things. <laughs> I'm having a great day. But uh, that, that's all the questions. That's actually all the questions. I'm supposed to tag somebody right now. In the last video, though, I said that I don't speak to other YouTubers. I don't have any, like, real YouTube friends or anything. So I can't tag anybody. Uh, I can, however, say if you make videos, if you are somebody that makes videos, whether you want to upload a slideshow with microphone, whether you want to upload an actual vlog like this, or whether you want to upload microphone with gameplay of some random game with the volume turned down, then do that. Reply to this video. You can put a lover's gaming in the title if you want me to find it, if you don't want to send it to me directly. And uh, see, this is why video responses back in the day were great because I just noticed it down below and be like, oh, cool, like someone responded to me, I can click it. But uh, if you want to be a part of this, I'll leave the 10 questions underneath in the description. All you have to do is make a video replying to that, and I will watch it, I will comment it, I will like it, I will share it, I'll make other people watch it, it'll be great. And uh, that's that's all there is, really. That is all there is. I don't. I think these questions, they're all right. They're all right. They're kind of repetitive in some way. Just uh, variations of the same question, if you ask me. Uh, if I had to ask somebody else out there a question, it would probably be a question like, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, when you're making this, are you doing it for money? Are you doing it for passion? Or are you doing it because you're bored? Because you have to ask yourself, after a while, those questions are going to become important to you. If you're doing it for money, then you're doing it for money because you want to make this sustainable. If you're doing it for passion, you can do it for both. If you're doing it for passion, then you don't need a schedule, you can do it whenever, and you have your own thing going on. Which I think is personally the best option. I'm not taking it, but I think it's the best option. And if you're doing it for the other reason, then you're probably not going to last here at all if you're doing it. If you're doing it to, to be the next PewDiePie, you are dead in the water. And uh, uh, that's just my personal take. But uh, these weren't very hard-hitting questions at all. And uh, that's it. That's all there is. Thanks to the antagonist's fury. I don't like his username. His name is Bills. Or Bill. Uh, his username is an emotion. It is not a bean. It, you're the antagonist's fury you're the bad guy's rage you're the bad guy's bad emotion you're you're you are not a actual sentient being you are anger like that that right there is weird like who is the antagonist what is his goal what is he doing like at the end of the day is that a story you're putting together are you creating a plot are you creating your own narrative at some point in time are you going to make a machinima series where the antagonist shows himself is it going to be like simon and lewis's back in the day with their minecraft series which they randomly cancelled screw that channel but uh that's all there is here here's another question if someone does make a reply to this what channels do you hate 
you know, let's create some drama up in this because that is the big thing on YouTube today. I could go on for days about the channels I hate. But uh, that's all there is to that. I will see you guys later. Enjoy your day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, if you really like my content, you know what to do. You go to that Patreon. You subscribe over there. It helps run this channel. It helps keep this, this schedule going. And because at the end of the day, I love you guys. You're my friends. You're not really. No, you are. I love you. Uh, we're like a pseudo family. And we mean a lot to each other. And I love you, friend. And and I, I, I notice when you disappear for a while. I notice when those comments from you aren't there. And I notice when they come back. I notice when Black Sun was gone for a year because they hated Google+. Plus. Then he came back and I was like, hey man, he'll tell you himself. I was like, hey man, I remembered you. I, when Mackin was sick and she was gone for like two weeks, I was like, nice to see you again. And the Bob never went away because because he loves me and I love him. We're like a bromance, man. He's like, uh, he's like, he's a few years younger than me, but he has a deeper voice. He's going to college and, uh, you know, he's probably going to drop out at some point because his love for me is consuming his attention. And I'm just going to have to end it here before, before it gets weird. And uh, what am I going to do today? I need to take some new thumbnail pictures, man. I'm going to, I, I might even stream. Ha! <laughs> no. <laughs> but uh, thank you for watching. I've been your host, Chris K R I S. And, uh, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye.